for Gil Scott Heron. The new revolution will not be televised. I have a piece that's dedicated to him, but I modernize it just a little bit because I'm convinced and I will stay on this soapbox that with everything that's going on in this fast-paced technological modern society, that we are constantly distracted. Distracted from real issues, distracted from the things that are plaguing our community. We are distracted, we are distracted, we are distracted. I wrote this during the uh, campaign last year. Uh, <laughs> this is called The New Revolution Will Not Be Televised Either. Forgive Scott Heron. The New Revolution Will Not Be Televised Either While Millions Are Losing Their Mind Over Justin Bieber, Eyes Glazed Over, Obsessed With Celebrity Fever. The New Revolution Will Not Be Televised Because Americans Are Being Distracted By Gilded Enterprise allowing the fantasy to gain traction, numbing us to reaction from high unemployment rates while many corporations take inaction to hire and expect employees to do more with less who do so so they won't get fired, alleviates the stress of keeping a roof over your head and food on their plates. The new revolution, my people, will not be Facebook eyes, Twitter eyes, YouTube eyes, MySpace eyes, Google size, Google Plus size, or LinkedIn eyes, so don't be surprised when social media continues to feed you, scrambling your brain with content stimulants, breaking news, no news, nonsense, pundits, 140 character rants, that the new revolution will not be televised. The new revolution will not be televised because we're laughing at family guy and modern family when America's families are doing their best just to get by, scratching our heads while certain members of the GOP continuing to tell lies and get away with it on the campaign trail, trying their best to derail one another, hoping no one else discovers a new trail of new.old.new.lovers or anything else that was done undercover. What happens from day to day cannot be surmised because in the meantime, the will not be televised. The new revolution will not be televised waiting for the mob wives to get into a fight, counting the hops in Miller Lights, snickering at the vicious verbal daggers and knives from the harmful comments slung around on basketball wives. The new revolution will not be televised because we're caught up in the X trying to factor who will be the next voice giving America a choice to give an unknown kid a chance so you think you can dance commiserating that Cleveland will never be the same. What are they gonna do without the court artistry of LeBron James? Wow. You see, we took the bait, felt confused and divided over Joe Paterno's fate after the abominable child abuse scandal at Penn State. Now a known cheater, we wonder how far Tiger will come in under par. Rooting for the underdog on Dancing with the Stars, we the people have the power to pick a winner by testing a vote for an idol. And on that note, sound a clarion call for unbridled compromise because... You see, we're chomping at the bit for more Snooky and Jersey Shore. Our insatiable appetite for reality TV breeding more. Unrealistic greed slinging blingy bling bling takes away the sting of what economic decline brings. You see, the new revolution will not be televised because the new revolution is economized. 15% of Americans are living below the poverty line, can't afford nosebleeds watching through the fence from external sidelines. The new revolution is occupied. We won't see the stark difference between the have and have nots because you see that can't be DVR'd on a cable box. The staunch gap can't be bridged by the antics of the fantastic Mr. Fox. And we're not, allowing, we're not allowed to sob about the lack of jobs and continue to outsource and bring in imports on our loading docks. The new revolution will not be televised. Our phones get smarter, our networks get faster, our batteries get longer. The 1% stays the 1% and their financial power grows stronger. While some are fleecing our nation, perpetuating a fraud, and man's First Amendment makes it okay for Bill Maher and Ricky Gervais to dog God. But I digress. Let's stick to the revolution, where we need absolution, a financial, excuse me, a financial and economic certainty for all of America's families. You see, we're so busy moving forward, refusing to look back, eyes on some invisible prize pressing forward, not thinking to help those who've gotten off financial track. This crisis isn't preserved for a precious few. Your circumstances can change in an instant, and now they become you. Wow. No health care, maybe welfare, class welfare, emotional wear and tear, mentally unprepared, 
exhausted, trying your best to fare, going to free clinics instead of doctor's offices, feeling trapped, inexplicably caught in a snare, robbing Peter to pay Paul, swirling in a financial nightmare, suddenly treated like a second-class citizen, wondering where money is gonna come from and when, Wusa, Wusa, praying for a change, peace, balance, zen, depleting your savings, stocks, bonds, and 401k, hoping this is temporary, knowing there has to be a better way. Faith propelling you toward better days because the new revolution will not be televised. Although the new revolution will not be televised, we need to stay aware and open our eyes. While Maxwell the pig is squealing, wee, wee, wee. We have a responsibility to help those in need. In America, home of the brave and land of the free, the new revolution will not be televised either. Thank